You must extinguish this fear of failure and embrace it. Wow! This one is like driving what Indonesian people living in Africa. Society is totally Why do they go to school? The universal power to touch yourself. My soul. internet friends are my real friends. The worst possible thing you can do in an accident. What is body language? What is home? Just listen. So, yeah, I'm gonna speak about mother bikes. And this Greenstone project pretty much represent my graduation, which is important for me, but mostly from, for my granddad. So that's why I want to dedicate it to him. Um, he is also the one that actually introduced me to motorbikes. So yeah, everything is for my grandpa right now. Okay, I could have chosen different kind of topics, philosophical, political, social, personal, anything, but I choose bike. <laughs> I choose bike because of the Green, Greenstone and the Green School um, uh, Enterprise lessons and that brings to it actually. I started not thinking about business. I was mostly thinking about just having fun. And, and yeah, that's, that's it. So my presentation is about the passion, is about the business, and is about a, the story of my life within motorbikes. And that brings back to my grandpa, who actually bought me my first little electrical bike while I was four or five. So I started running with that and, and yeah, enjoying it. And I was happy with it, so I learned how to drive a bike. And then he introduced me to go-karting. I was really good at it. Uh, he was my manager. I was I was running well. I've been doing it for a couple of years. I I've been also asked from a big Italian en engines company to write for them. They would provide a salary. They would provide education. They would provide all the expense I would have to travel around Europe to run for them, but they wanted me to upgrade my category. So you know how moms are. She, my moms, my mom didn't want me to do that. And I got mad, but, but that's the way it is. So, so yeah, a couple of months after it, for some personal issues, I just stopped go-karting. And yeah, but I still had my passion. And to feed my passion, I did bad, bad thing. That's new also for my mom right now. She didn't know about it. When I was 11, <laughs> when I was 11, to feed my passion, and because I, I had good skills already on business and engines as well. I was pretty much running a stolen motorbikes and motorbikes business business. I want to apologize to my mom. She, she is a really, really kind mom, <laughs> and, and she is not why I did that, that stuff, that was only me, and I know that was bad, so. Anyway, uh, by the time I was 13, one time me and some friends were opening up um, a little motorbike we stolen, and a cop passed by. But we were, you know, so young, so angel face. So, so the cop didn't know at all what, what we were doing, actually. So 
before the rest of the cops came, he just let us go away. And that pretty much saved my, you know, <laughs> maybe some trials or some kind of things like this. And that's, that's when I stopped doing that. And, but suddenly, a couple of months afterwards, I got my first bike. It was my mom's bike, suddenly became mine. It was, it is my big love of my life. It is a 50cc Aprilia Scarabeo, super good. It was always, always broken. There was, there was no one week that there wasn't a problem on that bike. And every time I used to fix it by myself because mechanics there back in Italy are really, really expensive. So I used the little tools that I had at my house to, to fix it up. Yeah, and then I was, I was having fun with it, fixing up, change, it became kind of a mix bike I could I took bike from all like this you know bikes you find around in the big city the already stolen one so <laughs> uh, yeah so when I came here the first time I was wow I can rent whatever bike I want I can do whatever I want hang out without helmet this kind of stuff that's not good, I use helmet, but whatever. I like the rules. The traffic here is, you know how the traffic here is, but okay. The second time I came here, I thought, why shouldn't I buy a bike and then sell it back when I had to go back to Italy? And so I bought this bike, it was a CB, CP 150 gear pro engine, modificated already, but it was pretty <laughs> shit, it was pretty bad. Um, and, and yeah, one day I wanted to change my back gear and I went to this banker where I met kind of him. He is like my uncle now. He is the one that made my bike. Okay, that's, that's, that's my Gear Pro, the 150 I just spoke about. You can see how it was. I'm gonna show you afterward how it is now. So yeah, I, I went there to change my gear and out of nowhere, since I had this passion about motorbikes, I just, I don't know why, I just asked him, can I work for you for free and then yeah, just learn out of you. And he said, yes, look at him. He is super nice guy. So, he said, yes, and I started working with him and I had the opportunity to work on my bikes for free as well. So I started working on my GL Pro and yeah, that's pretty much the process have been true, but as soon as I got the idea to actually make it brand new, I got heavily poisoned, so I lost pretty much one month of my, my modification journey in the hospital. But then I got better and I went back. But when I was back, I lost control of what I was doing with that bike, so I just bought another bike. That bike is a Kawasaki Ninja 152 stroke from the 1996. That bike flies. <laughs> and after three days I bought it, I actually float with it. So I broke it up and I had to pay to fix. I spent pretty much two days to fix it up. I broke a couple of ribs. Uh, two days afterwards was fine. I was gonna, gonna go in a road trip with the Zami's brother up in the mountains, but while I was going, the engine melted up. Just two days I fixed it after. So that was really sad. 
So I had to go back, and that's the bike, the Ninja. You can see it's completely messed. And yeah, we made completely new engine. I changed pretty much everything. And yeah, and that's it. So now I bought this one just yesterday. <laughs> this is not a good bike. <laughs> I mean, the engine is good. But this bike in two weeks is gonna be sick. I can tell you. <laughs> All right, that's that's the Ninja engine. Fixing a Ninja is not like fixing another bike. This is really really complex. This is the piece that melted up, the new one that I had to change. And yeah, yeah. During that process, I met this wonderful guy. He is my, like my uncle now. And I received help from him, from, from another friend of mine that's not here now. And, and yeah, now I would like to show you the final product. If it comes out. This is the Ninja. You can see, it's not ready yet. It's pretty much half process. I needed more time. I actually started working on this from, it was maybe, now it's gonna arrive the picture. It was completely different. This is the GL Pro. Paco Manker. Yeah. He is the one who made, who made this. I designed it, he made this. Before I was working with him, but then I got sick, so it was... Yeah, I, I've been working, but not, not that much. And yeah, so... All of those bikes are for sale now. <laughs> and I can say, I can say that is a good investment. All of these bikes are bike for lovers. This one is pretty useful for everything. It flies. It has two spots. This one is just like driving butter. It's, it's so good. This one here would be perfect for for some green school kid. So yeah, maybe in one two weeks it's gonna be ready, full on. Bagus, like all these other ones. And yeah, I want I want to thank Pakoman. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the Green School who actually helped me a lot during my graduation process. And yeah, thank you so much.